What if everyone on Earth jumped at the same time? This question comes from someone who looked at a concert crowd jumping in sync and thought, what if we scaled that up to literally every human alive? And it's a surprisingly common thought experiment. After all, people jump all the time. But what if everyone, all eight billion of us, jumped at the same time? Would it shake the Earth, knock it off its axis, cause earthquakes? Let's find out. First, let's do some logistics. Getting everyone in the same place is impractical. Nope. We can't even agree on pizza toppings. So, we'll assume that instead of gathering in one spot, everyone simply jumps at the same instant, synchronized, perfectly timed from wherever they are on Earth. That means people in New York, Nairobi, New Delhi, and New South Wales all jump in unison. We'll also assume that everyone jumps vertically and with maximum effort. No weak little hops. This is a full commitment. Knees bent, arms swinging, pushing off the ground like your life depends on it. So, what happens? Well, let's start with the basics. The average human weighs about 62 kilograms. Whoa. Multiply that by 8 billion people, and you get a total jumping mass of roughly 500 billion kilograms. That sounds like a lot, and it is but Earth weighs approximately six times 10 to the 24th kilograms. That's a six followed by 24 zeros. So in comparison, humanity's combined weight is a rounding error. Earth barely notices we exist, but let's not give up yet. Maybe it's not about the mass. Maybe it's about the force. When you jump, you push down on the ground. Newton's third law says every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So. When you push down, Earth pushes you up. That push is what propels you into the air. But since you're pushing against Earth, doesn't the Earth move slightly in the opposite direction? Yes, it does, technically. When you jump, you push against the Earth with a force that, for a brief moment, accelerates it ever so slightly in the opposite direction. If all eight billion people jumped at once, and each of them managed to generate, say, 200 newtons of force, you'd get a total downward force of about 1.6 trillion newtons. That sounds impressive. Until you apply Newton's second law and calculate Earth's resulting acceleration, it comes out to roughly 2.7 times 10 to the negative 13 meters per second squared. In other words, Earth would move, just not in any way we'd notice. The shift would be about the width of a proton, and it would be reversed the instant everyone landed again. Earth would bob very slightly, then settle back as if nothing happened, like a mosquito trying to punch a freight train. But let's say you ignore the planet and just focus on the jump itself. Could 8 billion people jumping simultaneously cause an earthquake? That depends on how well we're synchronized and what kind of surface we're on. Earthquakes are caused by sudden shifts in tectonic plates, not by impacts from above. But if enough people jumped in the same region, say, packed onto one massive concrete slab above a fault line, the vibrations from the impact might simulate a small tremor. The keyword here is small. You might knock a book off a shelf. You might rattle a few windows. But you're not leveling cities. In fact, some scientists have done small-scale versions of this. In 2011, the British TV show Bang Goes the Theory tried to simulate this exact event with 50,000 people. The ground barely shook. It turns out Earth is very good at absorbing shock. It's basically a giant sponge, only made of molten rock and disappointment. Now, what if we took it further? What if everyone jumped not just in sync, but in the same place? Let's imagine we somehow teleport all of humanity to one giant platform perhaps in a desert, or on an enormous steel plate floating in the ocean. Everyone's shoulder to shoulder, lined up like a giant global mosh pit. We do a countdown, and then, jump. The noise would be terrifying. Eight billion bodies hitting the ground at once would create a thunderclap of unimaginable scale. It would be the loudest sound ever created by humans likely damaging eardrums and shattering glass for kilometers around. Birds would flee, animals would panic, dogs would probably start speaking just to yell at us. 
The vibration through the ground could be enough to cause local landslides or sinkholes. If we built the platform over bedrock, it might survive. If we built it over unstable soil, we might accidentally invent the world's first man-made continent collapse. Now, here's where it gets weird. If you concentrate enough mass in one place, 500 billion kilograms standing on a single surface, the ground might compact. The pressure would be intense. People on the bottom row might not survive. You'd need crowd control on a cosmic level. A single slip could trigger a chain reaction of humans toppling like dominoes, with billions falling over like a badly stacked card tower. The result wouldn't be a jump. It would be an extinction-level game of Twister. But even if we avoid total human pileup, we still run into another problem. When we all land, the force has to go somewhere. The human body absorbs shock fairly well, but the platform and the ground beneath it might not. The impact would be concentrated in one place, like slamming a hammer into the planet. The ground might crack. Structures nearby could collapse. Underground systems like subways or pipelines might rupture. You'd essentially create a mini earthquake. Not strong enough to split continents, but definitely strong enough to ruin someone's day. And then, of course, there's the question of the moon. Some people wonder, could a mass synchronized jump change the Earth's orbit or its relationship with the moon? Absolutely not. The Earth-Moon system is governed by immense gravitational forces. The total energy of 8 billion people jumping is laughably small in comparison. You'd have better luck moving the moon by throwing your shoes at it. But the moon might still be affected, psychologically, if it had feelings. After all, it's been watching us quietly for billions of years, and now, suddenly, the entire population jumps for no reason. If it could blink, it would. The jump would also disrupt the global economy for a day. Transportation systems would be paused, internet traffic would spike, and the emergency services would be flooded with reports of weird tremors, broken ankles, and one guy who insisted he could jump higher than everyone else if he believed hard enough. Eventually, the media would call it the jump. Children would be born on jump day. Conspiracy theories would bloom, claiming it was a secret experiment by global elites to reboot the Earth's rotation. Wow. Meanwhile, scientists would just shrug and go back to studying real problems. And finally, after all the dust settles, we'd realize that the world didn't change. We didn't stop the Earth's spin. We didn't knock it into a new orbit. We didn't crack the crust or wake up ancient monsters living under tectonic plates. What we did was jump, together. One loud, messy, pointless act of global unity. And maybe, just maybe, that's worth something. Because while our collective jump didn't move the Earth, it did remind us that we can move together. And for a species that usually spends most of its time fighting, that alone is kind of beautiful. Just don't do it again, please.